Welcome back to Jeeves Gaming Guides and today we're going to be going magnet fishing. If you've never seen videos like this, they're absolutely a ton of fun. So what we got here is a very powerful magnet capable of pulling 500 pounds and this rope is capable of pulling a thousand pounds. And what you do is you take it, chuck it out as far as you can into the river and slowly drag it back across the floor of the river and hopefully pull up all kinds of stuff. People have found weapons, safes, historic items, all kinds of crazy things. And guys, we did not choose this place on random. This is actually Fort Washington, Maryland, a very historically significant area. It was actually used in the 1600s by Native Americans, so we can possibly find arrowheads and all sorts of memorabilia from that era. And in the 1800s, it was also used as a military fort, and it was actually destroyed by the British during the War of 1812. So there's a lot of room for his history to be found out here. Fingers crossed, we find something great. Without further ado, let's get it. All right, guys, before we start, I want to give you full permission. Please go into the comments, roast my throwing form, roast my throwing distance, roast everything about me throwing because I have never played baseball or anything like that in my life. Without further ado, let's take this magnet, dug it out there. It's basically like fishing. You got to let it sink to the bottom and then pull it back and pull it back slowly. A lot of people chuck it. The more you slowly pull it, the more it's going to drag across the bottom of the river and the more chance you have of picking something up. So let's pull it back. Dun, dun. I feel like it's got something on there, but that could be the waves. Trying to make sure it doesn't get stuck in the rock, which is a little bit more challenging than it looks. Alright, let's see if we got anything tiny on it. Kaboom! It's completely dry as can be. Which a lot of time what happens is like fishing, you gotta be patient, just keep throwing it out there and hoping for the best. So let's get ready to do it again. Alright guys, so this time instead of throwing it that way, we'll try to throw it out this way. Maybe we'll have more luck that way, because who knows what's out there. Without further ado, let's do it again. Those waves are getting really wavy for a river. It feels like I'm in the ocean or something. So let's pull it back and see what we got. Come on. This is like so dramatic, you don't understand for me. I'm just like, <laughs> might be pulling back like a freaking cannonball or something. You never know, you never know. It's stuck on something. Ugh. Definitely getting stuck. See, even with magnet fishing, you get the joy of real fishing, getting stuck constantly on everything you do. Oh crap, it's stuck on a rock. Ugh. Looks like we got nothing once again. Oh, no, we don't. Hold on. We got a penny. Since when are pennies magnetic? We have a magnetic penny. What year is it? Um, 1943. What? It's so flat. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, this magnet is really powerful. Honestly, it's not going to come off like that. So we're literally might have to come right back and beat this penny off and then we'll come back and look at it again so give me a second and be right back all right guys so we just got the penny off and did some research on it because i never found a magnetic penny before and i found some cool news but some bad news so apparently there's a whole line of these 1943 pennies and the ones that stick to magnets are pretty much just worthless unfortunately so we pretty much have junk but what i did learn is what i didn't know if you find a 1943 silver penny like this if you can't see the back it's silver in front of it's still pretty brown i'm guessing from the grimy river but if you find a silver one from 1943 that's actually not magnetic, we just found out they're worth thousands of dollars. Now obviously we won't be able to find one doing this because it can't be magnetic, but still kind of cool to learn and I like coins and old stuff, so that's kind of cool, a silver penny. But anyway, let's go back at it again. Alright guys, so I might not be able to throw that far. I played football, I wrestled, I did martial arts. I'm not a thrower. But her on the other hand, 11 years of softball even at the college level. So let's see if you can underhand pitch it out there and get it further than I can because I'm pretty sure you can because I suck. Dun dun. Oh, the bird. Hit the bird. About the same <laughs> distance, but I'm literally like 15 feet closer to you and you still got it about the same distance as me, so we've confirmed that you can throw further than me, which I'm sure we were all aware of already. Hold on, it's still going down. It's still going down? Yeah, look at it. Oh, yeah, it's still sinking. You hit like a trench or something. All right, let's go. Imagine we pull up like a cannon, like a cannonball or just like a musket or some crazy stuff like that. Well, let me try to get it off the rock. Oh, oh. I feel like some old school Viking or something. 
I'm gonna get stuck. Give me one second. All right, we're gonna have to cut and be right back. As I definitely wasn't like a 15 minute process that involved their foot going in the river and literally trying to pull it off for 10 minutes, but we got nothing again. So what we're gonna do is move over to another spot in the river and we'll be right back when we get to the next spot. Guys, this turkey, I think it's a turkey, literally caught a fish. He has a fish there. He's better than us. That is a talented bird right there. Talented bird. All right, guys. So sorry it's a little bit dark here. We actually walked like about a mile further into the woods and we found this spot here. A lot of it's like really steep hill. So we're trying to avoid as much as we can. This is like the least steep hill because if it gets stuck down there, that's going to be a pain to go down there and get. So fingers crossed it don't get stuck. Fingers crossed we find something besides rocks. Without further ado, let's do it. I feel like I got to get my footing right so I don't go down in the freaking river myself. And maybe it was a little tangled. Redo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's see if we can get anything that close. Never know. Let's see. Doesn't look like nothing. We got anything? Besides some rocks. I'm assuming it's like, I don't even know what kind of metal rocks are magnetic around here. But if somebody has any idea, maybe iron. I don't know if it's even magnetic. I'm so bad with this kind of stuff. Let me know, but... We're gonna untangle it and throw it out again so we can actually get some distance. So be right back. All right, guys, so I've been taking 15 minutes to get this thing untangled. We may have tried three more times there, getting stuck two of the three times and finding nothing three of the three times. So, woo, we decided to move further down the road. We went another, about another quarter mile to half mile down. And this is the first spot we found. It's literally not completely covered by trees. It looks like they're broken. But fingers crossed, maybe we'll find something here. Let's get it. Whee! Hey, hey, you didn't hit nothing. Give me one second. I'm trying to get around these trees. Come on. Come on. Holy crap. Oh, it's like really stuck. Hold on. You have to go down there? It's like moving. It might. All right, hold on, guys. It might be something stuck on a stick. It might be stuck on something big. Give me one second. We're going to have to go down there because it's like really slightly moving but not enough to be able to pull the string. So give us a second, we'll be right back. All right guys, so it looks he finally got down there, finally started getting the magnet and stuff out of the water. But it, it I mean, you can see how big it is. The magnet got caught on Holy that. Holy shit. What? This, oh, I can't move it, hold on. I don't know if you can hear him, but he can't move it. It's like really, really heavy. It literally looks like the top of the end of a cannon. I'm not even BSing. The end of a cannon, oh my God. he said. Ugh. Holy crap. Holy. God, I wish I could cuss. Holy crap. Hold on now. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to try to zoom in up on it. Ugh. There's not much light down there. You can kind of see it. Oh, my God. There's no way we're going to be able to lift this thing up. Look at this, though. Do I need, do I need to come uh. down and help? What? Do I need to help? I don't know. Look at that. I don't know what else this could be. I wish I could get light down there. What? I wish I could get light down there. I oh see my it. goodness, hold on now. I can see the outline of it. And like that, there's a hole at the top. All right guys, this is what we're gonna do. Stop the video, we're gonna try to work as a team, maybe get this thing out of the shore. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. And then get a view on it, so be right back. All right guys, so I've been at this for 20 minutes and there's no moving this thing with just us two. I'm gonna need another big guy to get this, but if anyone, knows anything about history. Tell me what else this could be. It's literally a, a metal barrel. Look inside, it's hollow. It's not like it's solid or filled with anything. Completely hollow and it's obviously magnetic. That looks like the end of a cannon to me. There, I also don't know anything about history so I could be completely wrong and I'd rather get some verification from you guys that watched the videos before. I try to bring somebody to help me get this out the water because we barely talk, but where we're at is like two miles deep and I don't never see anyone else out here. So I don't think we have to worry about anyone trying to get it. But if somebody knows what this else this could be, enlighten me, because I have no idea. But I'm gonna put it back in the water. We're leaving a little tape thing on the tree. And after we put the video out, we'll get some info for you guys. And if it is what we think it is, we'll bring somebody to come back and try to get it. But for now, that is one of the coolest things I've ever found, if it's what it is. Look at my hands, this is disgusting. If that's what it is, one of the coolest things I've ever found ever. But for now, let me catch my breath and let's get out of the river. 
Well guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed the video. We literally came to this historic park hoping we come across some type of historic treasure. And as far as I'm concerned, we might have actually done that. I never thought in a million years we'd actually come here and find something that cool, if that's what it is. So if you guys have any idea, please let me know. If you have any idea where markings could potentially be on that, if it is a real authentic cannon, we will be back here as soon as we get some responses from you guys to check it out. And if it is, that is absolutely incredible. Not to mention, we found a cool silver penny. Might not be worth anything, but to somebody like me who likes historical stuff, that's pretty cool find as well. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you want to see more Magna Fishing videos in other places, let me know in the comments down below. This wind is starting to get really heavy. It's about to storm. We got to finish this, but let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.